Today on Household Hacker, never run out of canned air again. We're going to make a never-ending supply of canned air. To pull this project off, we're going to need a valve from an old bike tire, an air pump, and some super strong bonding agent. More on that in a second. After making sure that my can of air is completely empty and safe to use in this project, I'm going to go ahead and drill a small hole in the side of it using a large drill bit. The drill helps keep things precise, but you could easily pull this off with a nail. Now that the hole's in there, I'm going to go ahead and test it with my valve and make sure it fits nice and snug. After that, I'm going to go ahead and apply a strong putty that when dry can handle up to 2000 PSI, so it's definitely safe for this project. I suggest any epoxy or glue with a high PSI rating for this. Check your garage. And once everything's dry, it's time to give it a little test. Just as bike tires have proper filling amounts, so do cans. So this one can handle up to 76 PSI, but just to keep things super safe, I'm only going to add 50. After filling it up, I got a large full blast that's sure to be able to clean out your keyboard in seconds. But what are some other uses for this? Surprise a cat. Clean your countertop. Launch a paper rocket. Or confuse the dog. And that's how to make your own never-ending supply of canned air. See you next time.